Picture this, sprawling cities, their skylines dominated by concrete giants, each structure a testament to human ambition. But at what cost? Our planet groans under the weight of unsustainable practices, with the construction industry playing a significant role. Climate change is no longer a distant threat, it's a stark reality. The need for change is more urgent than ever, and that's where sustainable architecture steps in, offering a beacon of hope. Imagine buildings that breathe, structures that exist in harmony with nature, not in opposition to it. This is the promise of sustainable architecture, a revolution in building design that prioritizes environmental responsibility, social equity, and economic viability. Gone are the days of cookie-cutter structures that prioritize aesthetics over sustainability. The future of architecture is about creating buildings that are as intelligent as they are beautiful, structures that generate their own energy, conserve water, and minimize waste. Imagine homes that heat themselves using the power of the sun, offices that purify the air we breathe, and schools that teach children about environmental stewardship through their very design. This architectural revolution is about more than just reducing our environmental footprint. It's about redefining our relationship with the built environment. It's about designing buildings that stand as testaments to human ingenuity and our capacity to create a future where both people and the planet can thrive. In this episode, we delve into the heart of sustainable architecture, exploring its principles, its evolution, and the pioneers who are leading the charge. We'll journey from the drawing board to the construction site, uncovering the innovative materials, cutting edge technologies, and forward-thinking designs that are shaping the future of building. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready to be inspired as we embark on an exciting exploration of sustainable architecture, a journey into the future of building. The concept of sustainable architecture might seem like a modern invention, but its roots run deep, entwined with humanity's age-old connection to the natural world. Long before the rise of towering skyscrapers and sprawling concrete jungles, our ancestors built with nature, not against it. Think of the ancient Pueblo dwellings carved into the cliffs, designed to harness the sun's warmth in winter and provide cool respite in summer. These early examples of vernacular architecture born from necessity and a deep understanding of local resources, offer valuable lessons for modern-day builders. Visionaries and forward-thinking architects started to question the environmental impact of modern construction, planting the seeds for what would become the sustainable architecture movement. The 1960s and 70s witnessed a burgeoning environmental movement, with growing concerns about pollution, resource depletion, and the impact of human activity on the planet. This newfound awareness extended to the realm of architecture, sparking a shift towards more ecological and socially responsible building practices. Architects began experimenting with alternative materials, passive design strategies, and renewable energy sources, challenging the conventional wisdom of what a building could be. The oil crises of the 70s further fueled the push for energy efficiency, turning sustainability from a fringe concept into a practical necessity. The establishment of organizations like the United States Green Building Council in 1993 marked a turning point, providing a framework for evaluating and promoting sustainable building practices. One of the earliest and most influential examples of sustainable architecture is the Solar Building, constructed in Colorado in 1974. This groundbreaking project, designed by architect Richard Crowther, showcased the potential of passive solar design, using the sun's energy to heat and cool the building naturally, significantly reducing its reliance on fossil fuels. The creation of the Rocky Mountain Institute in 1982 by physicist Amory Lovins further advanced the field of sustainable design. These early milestones demonstrated that sustainable architecture was not just a pipe dream, but a viable and increasingly necessary approach to building design. They set the stage for a new era of innovation, paving the way for the remarkable advancements in materials, technologies and design strategies that continue to shape the built environment today. Remember those drab concrete buildings that seemed to suck the life out of a city block? 
Sustainable architecture has declared war on those energy vampires, ushering in a new era of building materials that are as easy on the eyes as they are on the environment. Out with the old, in with the new Think Bamboo, a rapidly renewable resource that's stronger than steel and grows like a weed, literally. Or how about rammed earth, a technique as old as the hills, quite literally, using compressed earth to create walls that are naturally insulating and aesthetically stunning. And let's not forget the humble mushroom. Mycelium, the root structure of fungi, is being used to create biodegradable packaging, insulation, and even furniture. Even waste materials are getting a second life, with recycled plastic being transformed into durable lumber and construction materials. Gone are the days of buildings guzzling energy, like gas-guzzling cars stuck in traffic. Sustainable architecture is all about kicking fossil fuels to the curb and embracing energy solutions that are as renewable as the sun itself. Solar panels are no longer a futuristic fantasy. They're becoming as commonplace as roof tiles, transforming buildings into mini power plants. Imagine a world where your office block generates more energy than it consumes, sending surplus power back to the grid. Wind turbines, once relegated to windswept hillsides, are now gracing city skylines, harnessing the power of the breeze to generate clean energy. Energy-efficient appliances, smart lighting systems that adjust to natural light, and high-performance windows that keep heat in during winter and out during summer are all part of the equation. Who needs blueprints when you have Mother Nature's design catalogue? Biomimicry, the practice of drawing inspiration from nature's time-tested designs, is revolutionizing the way we build. Take the Namib Desert Beetle, for example. This ingenious insect has inspired the creation of self-filling water bottles and building facades that collect condensation, providing a sustainable solution for water scarcity. And then there's biophilia, the innate human need to connect with nature. Sustainable architecture embraces this concept bringing the outdoors in through the incorporation of natural light, living walls, green roofs, and courtyards that create a sense of tranquility and well-being. Studies have shown that incorporating biophilic design elements can boost productivity, reduce stress, and improve overall health and well-being. Remember those clunky thermostats that always seem to have a mind of their own? Well, they're about to go the way of the dinosaurs as smart technology takes center stage in sustainable architecture. Imagine a building that anticipates your needs, adjusting lighting and temperature based on occupancy, optimizing energy consumption without you even lifting a finger. Sensors, data analytics, and artificial intelligence are coming together to create buildings that are not just sustainable, but also smart. These intelligent buildings can monitor their own energy use, identify inefficiencies, and even predict maintenance needs, reducing costs and extending the lifespan of building systems. From self-healing concrete that repairs its own cracks to facades that respond to changing weather conditions, the future of building is looking smarter and more sustainable than ever before. In Chicago, Jean Gang blends sustainability with social responsibility. Her designs foster community and connect people to nature, Aqua Tower, inspired by Great Lakes Bluffs, reduces energy with passive solar shading. The Arcus Center uses natural materials to encourage collaboration and dialogue. For Gang, sustainable architecture enhances lives and reduces environmental impact. Imagine a world where buildings are not just designed to be less bad for the environment, but actually contribute to its health and regeneration. This is the vision of William McDonough, a pioneering architect and designer who has dedicated his career to promoting the concept of cradle to cradle design. McDonough's philosophy challenges the traditional linear model of take, make, dispose that has led to resource depletion and environmental degradation. Instead, he advocates for a circular economy where materials are perpetually cycled and reused, mimicking the regenerative systems found in nature. One of McDonough's most celebrated projects is the Ford Rouge Center in Dearborn, Michigan. The factory's roof is covered in a sprawling green roof that absorbs rainwater, reduces energy consumption, and provides habitat for local wildlife. His cradle-to-cradle -cradle philosophy has inspired a generation of architects and designers to rethink the way we build, shifting from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance and regeneration.
Zhang Gang and William McDonough are just two examples of the many visionary architects who are leading the charge towards a more sustainable future. From the bustling metropolises of Asia to the remote villages of Africa, architects around the world are pushing the boundaries of design, developing innovative solutions to address the pressing environmental and social challenges of our time. In the Netherlands, architects are designing floating homes and buildings that can adapt to rising sea levels, creating resilient communities that can withstand the impacts of climate change. In Africa, architects are using locally sourced materials like bamboo and earth to create sustainable and affordable housing solutions, empowering communities and preserving cultural heritage. The work of these pioneering architects is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and our capacity to create a future where both people and the planet can thrive. The sustainable architecture movement is about more than just creating eco-friendly buildings. It's about redefining our relationship with the built environment and with the natural world. Imagine walking through a city where buildings are draped in greenery, rooftops are transformed into urban farms, and parks and green spaces are seamlessly integrated into the urban fabric. This is the vision of sustainable architecture, a vision that extends beyond the walls of individual buildings to encompass entire communities and ecosystems. It's a vision that recognizes the interconnectedness of all things and strives to create a built environment that is in harmony with the natural world. As we move forward, it's essential to remember that sustainable architecture is not just a trend, it's a necessity. It's about creating a future where both people and the planet can thrive, and it's a responsibility that falls on all of us. Imagine a city where buildings disappear beneath a canopy of greenery and skyscrapers sprout vertical farms that feed the community. This is the promise of biophilic urban design, transforming concrete jungles into thriving ecosystems. Future cities will embrace nature, incorporating green roofs, living walls, and urban forests that purify the air. Picture community gardens flourishing on rooftops, providing fresh, local produce to residents. This is a glimpse into a future where cities are integral parts of a thriving ecosystem. The future of architecture is not just about building with nature, it's about building like nature. Imagine structures that generate their own energy, capture and purify their own water, and even produce their own food. This is the vision of the living building movement, inspired by biomimicry principles. Picture a building with a facade that acts like a giant lung, absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. Imagine a skyscraper that collects rainwater and purifies it for drinking. These buildings are dynamic, self-sustaining ecosystems. As the climate changes and our planet faces unprecedented challenges, the need for resilient architecture has never been greater. Imagine buildings that can withstand extreme weather events, adapt to rising sea levels, and provide safe havens for communities in need. From hurricane-resistant homes built on stilts to floating communities that rise and fall with the tides, architects are developing innovative solutions to address the impacts of climate change. These buildings are designed not just for today's challenges, but for the uncertainties of the future. Imagine self-sufficient buildings equipped with microgrids and rainwater harvesting systems, capable of operating off-grid in the event of natural disasters. Picture coastal communities protected by living seawalls that absorb wave energy and provide habitat for marine life. Building for resilience is not just about surviving disasters, it's about creating buildings and communities that can thrive in the face of change. It's about designing a built environment that is adaptable, flexible and prepared for whatever the future may hold. As we've journeyed through the evolving landscape of sustainable architecture, one thing is clear. This is about building a legacy for generations to come. Remember those energy-guzzling buildings? Sustainable architecture envisions structures that generate more energy than they consume. Innovative materials like bamboo and mycelium represent a shift towards a circular economy. It's about creating spaces that nourish our souls and foster community. Imagine buildings that connect us to nature, with sunlight streaming through living walls. The future of architecture is not predetermined, it's shaped by the choices we make today. Will we continue unsustainable practices, depleting resources and worsening climate change, or embrace sustainable architecture, creating buildings that regenerate our planet and inspire future generations? The answer lies with architects, 
policymakers, developers, and citizens. We must demand energy-efficient, resilient buildings designed for people and the planet. The sustainable architecture revolution is not a spectator sport. It's a call to action. Whether you're an architect, a homeowner, or a student, there are countless ways to get involved. Educate yourself, advocate for green policies, and support sustainable businesses. Every action contributes to a larger movement. Share this video and start conversations. Inspire others to join the movement. Let's build a future of stewardship and innovation.